What is up everyone, JD here. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm really excited to bring you my full review of the Petrified Fish Scholar. What we will be doing today is going through knife specs, then we'll do some size comparisons, and then I'll give you my thoughts and impressions. This particular variant, before I jump into any of that, is a Blue Creek Knife exclusive variant. Um, I really do like what Brian's doing over there. He definitely gives it personal touches through some stickers and goodies in the pack down in here, along with a thank you for your support and talking a little bit about the business. I will have my link, my affiliate link to Blue Creek Knives down in the description below. So please feel free to support Brian and his business. I really do like what they're doing. And even if this isn't a USA made knife, I still want to support local businesses. So that's why I'm wanting to give a shout out to Blue Creek Knives and Brian over there. Really awesome. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the review. The Petrified Fish Scholar has a 3.7 inch 154 CM blade steel. On Blue Creek Knife website, it's advertised as being 59 to 61 HRC, a little low, but not awful. It has 4.49 inch G10 handles, overall length coming in at 8.19 inches and claimed weight. I think I said overall weight, <laughs> overall length, 8.19 inches. And the claimed weight is 3.9 ounces. Going to grab the scale real quick so we can take a look at the weight on this one. So four ounces, probably right around that vicinity of the 3.9. What we'll be doing next is going through some size comparisons. So I'm gonna bring some knives out here to help you understand the size of that. First, we'll bring out the Demco AD 20.5 and we'll bring out the Spyderco Shaman. As you can see here, this is a more slender knife and closer in presence to that shaman as far as the length is concerned. Let's go ahead and move these two out of the way and we'll bring out a couple more size comparisons just in case you're not familiar with those two. The Benchmade Bug Out, another very popular knife. And we'll bring out the Hogue K320 made for SIG here. As you can see, definitely longer than both these knives, but much more slender closer to the Bug Out. The Bug Out is not quite as slender, but it's very, very similar. Let me move these two out of the way. We'll bring out a couple of budget knife comparisons in case you don't own any of these knives. First, we'll bring out the Vosteed Raccoon. Really like this budget button lock for under 60 bucks. You get a bang and deal. Hopefully they'll have more of those back in stock by the time this video goes up. And then we have the Buck 110 Plus. Very similar style profile and length that you see there between the fish and the buck. All right, with those profile comparisons out of the way let's do a little thickness profile comparison so you can sense get a sense of how this is going to handle in hand and what it's going to feel like down in pocket so you can see just a touch thicker than the raccoon and then we will bring out the demco ad 20.5 you can see here that is much thinner so this is a chunkier knife and here it is against the benchmade bug out and just for uh, size comparison. Sorry, I didn't realize I had that angled so I could see it. Just for one of the big knives as a comparison, here it is up against the Shaman. And as you can see, it's pretty much dead even with the Shaman. All right, all of those size comparisons out of the way. Let's talk a little bit about the knife. This is definitely a very unique knife. The Scholar is designed to be like a Spanish style razor. It has really beautiful G10 handles. I wanted to get this one because I actually can see down the road customizing, either doing like a deep red or a deep blue perhaps on it. I'm thinking the red though, because I think the red and the dark gray would look really good together. And it's just such a unique piece. I can see this being a conversation piece, people asking about it when I pull it out. Um, I don't think it would be intimidating. I just think it would be a conversation piece like, oh, is that a Spanish style razor? Like, you know, asking questions about it, even if they didn't recognize what it is. I'm sure people would think like a shaving razor, you know what I'm saying? So they, they would be interested in it. It would be something to get a conversation going with folks about it. Now, it does have really comfortable handles, very neutral ergonomics. It is contoured, so it fits in the hand nicely. And the chunkiness gives it a lot of substance in the hand too. So it's very comfortable to handle. When I've done a little bit of testing that I've done, and actually I will bring out 
my paper with my stats so I don't forget. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of cutting, but it seems to be pretty sharp out of the box. It might need a stropping because I did test it against some cardboard, quite a few sheets, and with this hologram, it went through very easily, and it was very comfortable. I was able to get my finger all the way up here. I was able to get a nice grip, and it just, the thinness of this blade, it went through the material really, really easily. For EDC, it's gonna be nice because this is gonna be good to get out on the tip to get into your packages for draw cuts and anything that you need to do with detail work. It's gonna be really easy to handle this to do it. It's gonna feel very comfortable in hand getting out there on the tip to do that detailed work. And even if you had that thumb in, very good blade control, the way you're able to choke up on the handle here. Ceramic bearings in the pivot, smooth action. It is not a guillotine. But I think it is interesting, and I'm going to bring that out here before we jump into any more about the razor. Um, the package is typical petrified fish package. It does, at least in this instance, have the number of the actual product in the description on there. I don't know if petrified fish did that or if that's Brian over at Blue Creek, Blue Creek Knives doing that. But interesting here it talks about the fact that it doesn't have a flipper tab to protect you and not to let it fall shut on you it did also come with a nice microfiber cloth came with extra hardware which i did want to point out i did end up needing to use a piece because as soon as i opened the box the screw that went into the back side of the pocket clip was stripped and it fell out as soon as i opened it to pop the label off it fell out so i'm grateful that it did come with the extra hardware because i had to use it out of the package which can happen sometimes sometimes um, on an assembly line when they're putting things together that just happens right it just falls apart um, because they over tightened it for whatever reason and it looked like it was going to stick uh, and it just like i said it fell out ended up being this screw back here that i ended up having to replace while we're back here has a nice i believe this is titanium if i recall correctly yeah titanium and it is coated pocket clip and while i'm here titanium backspacer but the hardware is definitely all steel yep all the hardware is steel but that's pretty good at this price point. I believe this knife was under $80. So you're getting G10 with ceramic bearings. You're getting a hollow ground 154CM blade steel, titanium accents, really good access to the lock bar. And as this breaks in, I'm sure it's gonna get smoother and smoother. One thing that I did forget to note here is you can get into that hollow grind sideways and you can reverse flick very easily even though it is a satin blade because it does have a lighter detent to it really hard to feel though um, it is easy to do that reverse flick and you can go over the top and you can do the thumb as you've seen me do a couple times now you can do all the little tricks with this one um, just really easy to deploy this for whatever it is that you like to do as far as how you fidget with the knife but it is very unusual size and shape so as far as alternative recommendations the buck 110 is going to be kind of close as far as profile usa made 32 dollars 420c it does have a hollow grind it's a great user knife that you have very similar i know this is probably sounding crazy but it's very similar ergonomics because of that thin profile but you're saving some money and this is a nice little beater knife whereas this i think is more of a conversation piece um, you break this out and i think people are going to talk about it you post on instagram's pictures with this with your edc gear and i think it's really going to stand out i think there's definitely going to be a couple of different little types of poses and things like that that are gonna be, you know, really good looking as far as, again, it being a statement piece. I don't think I would go with a lanyard on this, but I do like that this isn't prioritized in any way. And I think it's really tasteful how they just pushed it up here and made it look aesthetically pleasing. So very good build quality from Petrified Fish. Um, you do get pretty good value for the money from Petrified Fish and what they're doing. And again, everything feels really nice. I forgot to show you guys the 154 CM. Dang, I can't even see it through the camera. I might have to zoom in on that and I could have it upside down. So I'll do it this way and then I'll do it this way. 
<laughs> hopefully you can see that. Um, the jimping back here is the other thing I forgot to talk about. So the flipper tab jimping is really well done. It's that small, sharp jimping, and you can get, you know, good grip here. I wish they'd have gone out just a little bit further for that. And because of the way this is done, you get a nice sharpening choil. The plunge grind is way back here. So you got a lot of sharpening sur surface on here if you plan on sharpening this knife. I'm going to start with a strop and see how that does. But I think, you know, for the money and the type of knife that it is, it's very hard to um, fault it in any kind of way for around $80. It has a good edge, good blade steel, decent heat treat, nice G10. Um, this particular variant is going to have the option to be customized, which I really do like about this. Again, I think I'm going to try to go as dark, deep, or red as I can with it, but it's very easy to remove that if you don't like it. Some other conversation pieces, you know, if you have the money, is going to be like the Wii Roxy 3, I think is a really nice conversation piece. The other exclusive here is going to be from traditional pocket knives. This one's going to be a little bit more suited towards the type of work that you be able to do with the petrified fist but the jigged titanium penguin plus i think is another great conversation piece because i think it's a very good looking knife i got crap all over all my stuff sorry i haven't had a chance to clean them this week and with christmas coming and going because we're just past christmas as i'm recording this um a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff to break down and i was carrying different knives every day but anyway as i was saying good conversation piece and you know if someone's truly interested in what you're carrying with this knife i think you could potentially lead someone else into this fantastic hobby i love this hobby I think a lot of people misunderstand it. It's a great, great hobby. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you follow along as I continue to go to the channel and bring you the content. Thanks everyone out there that does leave comments and likes. I appreciate you guys. Hope you all have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.